to episode 9 of Vlogmas. Today I have a few things planned. It's Sunday now, um, Sunday the 17th. And first of all, I thought we could open my advent calendar together again because I think it gets quite repetitive, me just showing what I got. I just wanted to open it together again <laughs> and show you more exactly what I've got. Today's fandom mug is a Hufflepuff mug. <laughs> this one I actually quite like, but yeah, it's just... They aren't very aesthetic, are they? <laughs> mm. Oh, I forgot sugar. I'll be right back. <laughs> can't drink coffee without sugar. <laughs> okay, so the advent calendar. First of all, in my Sweets Around the World advent calendar, I've got this huge Laffy Taffy. Um, there's a little booklet that comes with the box my boyfriend ordered and he ordered two different ones. One was just Sweets from America and the other one was Sweets from Around the World. And this one should be sweets from around the world, but this is still American, no? <laughs> um, so maybe there was just another American thing in the sweets around the world box. Now for my Knitting for Olive advent calendar. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear some noise in the background. I have the dishwasher running and it's quite noisy <laughs> uh, and we don't have doors in our house right now because we are renovating <laughs> so yeah oh this color is so pretty it's knitting for olive cotton merino and in the color what does it say rose mouse oh so pretty. This is so nice for like a summer top or something. <laughs> and then for the advent calendar by my best friend. Um, she always has these little gnomes on the bags and like packages and everything. And I think they're so cute. And this one is... Oh. Oh, I like this color. Ah, mm. oh, that's so pretty. It's Merino 120 Degradé by Lang Yarns. It's a super wash. Um, it's the color... Well, one second. It's the color 37. And it's made out of... 100% merino extra fine virgin wool. Oh, that color is so pretty. And that do it doesn't even repeat. I like that. Mm, no, what I'm. This would maybe be really cute for like a handkerchief or something, like a very small shawl or scarf, just something to bind around the neck. I think that's going to be what I make out of this. I still have the Pippin scarf set by... I'm going to put it on screen, I don't remember who it's by. And I've never made one of the scarves in there, so I hope this would be enough. This is 50 grams, 120 meters, so... Mm, about a DK weight. Yeah, a DK weight, I would say. I think the pattern also called for a DK weight. I hope this is enough. <laughs> and then a bunch of chocobones. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Our cat just walked past. <laughs> I want to also give you a small update on the Christmas top. 
I don't have much time left. It's barely, it isn't even a week until like the first Christmas festivities. I'm still not sure where I'm going to wear this, if I'm going to wear, wear it to Benoit's family or to my own. Oh, and um, yeah, I'm this far on the first sleeve, about halfway, I would say. And I'm just slowly working away on it. <clears throat> With how fast I've knit this half of the sleeve, I think I may even be able to finish this sleeve today or tomorrow. And then I'm picking up for the second sleeve. I'll keep you updated. I'm sure I'm going to be able to finish that one. I just have to focus on it a bit. Um, now for the bralette. I'm not so sure if I'm going to be able to finish it. I'm focusing on the top first and if when I have that finished, I'll continue on the bralette. But it would be nice to have, but it isn't a must. I also don't know, honestly, if it would be a bit too revealing for my taste. Uh, I'll have to see how it looks underneath. But yeah, you can't go wrong with just a basic bralette to wear at home, so it isn't lost or anything. And there's one more thing I wanted to show you. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, or a couple of days ago, I got this yarn in my advent calendar, my best friend made me. Um, and it's Schachenmeyer Mohair Dreams. It's about a lace weight yarn and it has like a long, uh, a very long color change. When I took this out of the packaging, uh, my boyfriend said, oh, that would be a nice blanket for our cat. And I showed it to, you, uh, to our cat and asked if she would like a blanket out of this. And usually when I hold like yarn in front of her face, she will swat it uh, with her claws. But this time she only put her paw on it. So we took that as a yes. Um, but I told Benoit that I don't, I have so many projects right now. I uh, don't want to start a blank red now. And uh, I have a habit of starting to knit blankets and never finishing them. So he just said, fine, so I'm going to do it. And I had to cast on the stitches for him, but he knows basic knitting, so he knows how to just knit back and forth um and he did that last night <laughs> he doesn't usually knit but when it comes to our cat uh he would do anything for her so he started to knit this blanket it's not very broad so it really isn't fit for a, a human blanket but she always sleeps on our windowsill with the radiator underneath and it will just be wide enough to put on the windowsill so she has a more cozy surface than just the cold stone. <laughs> so I'm sorry um, to my friend but Luna and Benoit abducted this yarn. <laughs> so today we are doing the weekly shop. I don't think I'm going to film that. And what I also need to do is write my Christmas cards. I've always sent like a couple of Christmas cards, but this year, uh, since we aren't living at any of our parents' home anymore, we are sending Christmas cards to the whole family. <laughs> they look like this, just with a small watercolor weave on them and it says season's greetings and in this inside it says may this season bring you the gifts of peace hope and joy and they came with these cute envelopes that have a red rim all around the edges maybe 
I'll show you me writing them. I don't know yet. <laughs> um, you won't understand a word of the things I write on them because it will be in Luxembourgish. But maybe it's also interesting to see our language written out. That's it for right now. Thank you.